What's going on YouTube and hello to all the new viewers. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you're here because you probably watched the interview video. I never meant for it to get that hype because I still like, I, what if I need to get a job? But I'm, I'm happy that you're all here and um, it's kind of surreal to me. So I've been taking this time to really engage with you guys. And uh, the way I've been doing that is through Discord or emails. I've gotten a lot of emails, so I appreciate each and every single one of you. The support has been overwhelming. Um, that's, that's my whole goal. I just want to help people with this channel. With that said, I've had some requests on a live stream to show my office and show my workflow and kind of show how I do things. Now, you're not going to have like the same hardware or the same budget maybe to get the hardware that I have, but that's kind of not the point. It's just kind of how I... Uh, kind of how I separate things out, right? Like the rubber ducky and pseudocoding, I have some whiteboards in there. Um, but yeah, so uh, I hope you can get something out of this and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. So welcome to my office. <clears throat> okay. Welcome to my office. So we'll start off with the hardware here. 1080p monitor, 1440p ASUS monitor, another 10K monitor over here. They're different brands and they sit at different heights and it really bothers me sometimes but you know I get over it and then I have the work laptop here it's a Microsoft Surface and then I have the RGB keyboard it's a mechanical keyboard I just got RGB because why not we have the Blue Yeti mic I have some wireless headphones that I occasionally use if I don't want echo through my speakers and then I have my workout headphones here also over here I have this iPad for testing and uh, one of the favorite things I have in here is just like this little stick-on whiteboard. And so I keep my pen in a little uh, thing here. So be like, I'm actually not right-handed, so this is going to look really bad. Maybe I'm ambidextrous. Does that qualify? Probably not. Anyways, I have a little whiteboard here. And whenever I need to like rubber duck a problem, where so rubber ducking a problem is this Pepsi thing here. So this would be a rubber duck on your desk and you would tell it everything that you don't understand and the problem that you're trying to solve and by doing that out loud that can help you come to a solution because you're like wait what what did i say that doesn't make sense and then all of a sudden now you know how to get to a solution so similar thing with this whiteboard here if i have a problem i'll usually write some pseudo code out rather than typing it i'm a pretty i don't know just tactile right you could type it out over here but and then over here i have a vive because i tried to develop some vr games and then obviously i have this tripod over here we got the, I don't know, the, the, the speaker bar, I guess, the Xbox and the Wii. Yo, you guys, uh, right here. You guys trying to play some Smash? Get on that Smash, because I, I have 9 million controllers. I have an Mario 3D, Super Mario U. Basically, I don't have anyone to play that. I bought it to play it with my apartment friends, and then I moved away. Continuing on, we have this whiteboard here. This is actually heavy duty. It was a lot smaller when I ordered it. And I had it on my wall mounted with command strips. And uh, as you can see, that didn't, that didn't work out. Got the finish flag because I lived there for about five years. This, someone said this cord bothers them in the videos. Um, it, it's, for my, it's for my Vive tracker. And then I have another one also up here. Again, another Vive tracker. So that's it. That's the actual office that I, I normally code in. Um, I got my Kindle here. I'm always charging, you know, usually in this area here, I'm usually charging something. And then over here is where I do like any pseudocode or, I don't know, things move around. But um, that's kind of just my setup. Um, this, this desktop has traveled the world more than I have. I actually brought that desktop to Finland with me. I had it mailed, UPS, over there. And then when I got my first job, I shipped it all the way back. But during the shipping, it went to like nine other countries, so that it's... It's traveled to Europe and back. All right, nerd stats, here we go, nerd stats. It's got 16 gigs of RAM, an i7-2600K, uh, 1080 GTX GeForce, and um, let me show you the actual, like, let me show you my actual coding workflow here. The best thing about this, like, little pen is that it comes with, like, a little tiny eraser here. It doesn't work the best, but. So this is usually my workflow. I have my Slack open where my boss and my friends usually send me funny pictures or GIFs or some memes. And then we got uh, my Discord here and then some Stack Overflow, like 9 million tabs of Stack Overflow. Like maybe a YouTube video in the background for some music. Maybe a Reddit that you saw earlier in the morning before you started working. My email. And then here we have uh, the bread and butter. Right. So this is the code. This is where I do all the heavy lifting. So normally every application that I work on has some sort of hot reloading. So I save it here, instantly reloads there. I can 
you know, see the differences back and forth. Uh, maybe that's a really front end developer specific thing. I mean, back end, you're more working inside of. So this is probably what back end looks like. You have like nine million terminals open, and then you have your code here. Then you run it, and it runs in the terminal. And you're making sure all of your cron jobs over here. So you think it's a laptop, right? All right, you ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna blow your mind. Here we go. It's actually just a tablet. Like this whole work laptop that I have is just a tablet. It's it's kind of nice. Sometimes it's gimmicky. Cool. So this is VS Code which is kind of like the stripped down version of Visual Studio. Um, you have source control, you got some extensions. It's a pretty good IDE, so I recommend this if you want to use one. If you have your own, then do it up, man. I mean, it's hard to show you my workflow without actually doing work. Maybe I can make a video of me working, but you know, there's like NDAs and stuff. You know, I don't want to get, I don't want to get into that. So, and then whenever I have a problem here that I can't solve on Stack Overflow, I'm just like, okay, so we got a function, ring, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, I get that little, get that little serendipitous moment. I also, you, generally I close the door and I turn on some music. So the music that I listen to when I'm coding is music without lyrics. Because if I'm solving a problem, I need to think. I don't need to be interrupted by other people's voices or words or anything like that. But if it's something that I know how to do and it's just a little bit tedious, like styling change, I'll either listen to a book or I'll listen to like, whatever I listen to at the gym. Also, again, as mentioned before, I have this iPad, which is for mobile. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to recognize my fingerprint. I swear it's mine. I have this little USB here if I ever need to put anything on it and take it with me. So the place that I work is only like 10 minutes away from here. And one of my, I don't know, kind of points was like, if you want me to come in, I'm only 10 minutes away. And they were like, well, you're only 10 minutes away. Why don't you come in? I've been asked a lot about the backgrounds on my desktop. So the backgrounds on my desktop aren't actually like, you know, you don't normally have moving backgrounds. It's actually from an app on Steam. The Steam app is called Wallpaper Engine. It's like four or five bucks. I'll put the link in the description below um, and then you can just change it. And uh, the reason why I use it in my videos is because it, I don't, you know, I don't want to have a boring background, but it's actually pretty graphic intensive. And when I'm coding, I turn it off and you see my little camping tent. Anyways, guys, that is my workflow. This is my office, I, I hope. Hope it was, there was something here helpful for you. Whiteboards really helped me out. Um, the double monitor, at least try to get two monitors. Try to ask your boss if you can have at least your laptop screen and another monitor if you can't get three. I've seen people that have that also at work. It's not uncommon. In my, in my video where I'm like, what happened after Code Bootcamp? I think I'm like this, right? I think that's the thumbnail. Anyways, a lot of people comment on that window and what happened was there's a squirrel on that tree out there and my dogs jumped on those blinds and tried to get it and they tore it down, but I had to leave them there. People could see in, but I can't see out when it's dark and it, you know, it, was a, it was a bad solution, but you gotta do what you gotta do. If you wanna see more videos like this or just me kind of uh, more nonchalant videos, hit that little subscribe button, hit the notification. I would greatly appreciate that. Come hang out with us in Discord. I have a little survey right now. I'd like to have your feedback on it. I'm making a Udemy course. And so when you fill out the survey, I'll ask for your email and then you can just give me some suggestions for what you uh, want to see in these uh, Udemy courses that I'm making. And then after I finish it, I'll have your email so I'll be able to message you and be like, hey, this is live, you get first dibs. And um, that'll, that'll be how it goes. So I'll see you in the next video.